What's going on, my hashtag PVT familia? I want to thank everybody that's been subscribing to the show. And if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button and hit the little bell because some people say, hey, Rock, ya no me llega el show. Pues you have to hit the little bell so you can get notified because I upload something every day, okay? So este, I also want to thank my Patreon pledges. The people that are pledging, all the fans that are pledging this week, I'll be mailing out the shirts for the $25 pledges on Monday. So on the weekend, it's cuando hago, you know, package todo el guato ahí, you know, y la wifi, you know, we get into the dining room y nos ponemos a poner todo junto y mandamos todo el lunes. So if you want one of those shirts, because I'm only going to give them away through the month of March, go ahead and click the little Patreon link in the bottom right there in the description and pledge 25 bucks. If not, if you pledge $3, $4, $1, $9, $9, como quiera, te voy a mandar algo. Let's get back to the interview with Anthony Michael Hall, man. This guy's got a great story. But so, you know what, for me, it was, just, it was always work-driven. And yeah, you know, it's a decision. You know, I was single and having a good time with it all. But I'm very much in love. We're going to get married. So I'm looking forward. We're going to get married in Miami mm -hmm. in November. Both, so That's Saturday. great, man. Yeah, it's you know, and... Uh, I just wear this because we've always just felt that. Yeah. And, and you know what? That's awesome, bro, because... Yeah. You know, a, a lot of actors that do get married early and young, uh, they end up Screwed getting up. married a couple of more yeah. times, man. Yeah. There's just so much temptation in that yeah. uh, in that yeah. profession. Yeah. I mean, well, that was a big thing for two, man, because, you know, I'm a Catholic and just practicing my faith. I've always felt that way. I didn't want to do this more than once. Mm -hmm. you know? And even as a kid, I thought, you know what, I'll do this later in life. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait to have some kids. i got to. You know, she's 34. We're looking forward to it. It's a real blessing. Wow, she's man. Awesome. That's yeah. amazing, man. Yeah, man. So what's, uh, we're talking about the dead zone, too. You mentioned sure. the dead zone. Yeah. And uh, that was like a, a, a series off of that uh, Christopher Walken movie, wasn't it? That's right. That's right. It came from a Stephen King Yeah, movie. that movie was yeah. great, Thank dude. You, man. Back yeah. in the day, it was great with Chris Walken. Yeah, absolutely. And how was the experience doing that? The TV show was incredible, you know, because we had great material, you know, and uh, it was an interesting job for me, too, man. I struggled through my 20s when I got that job in my early 30s. I was really psyched. You know, mm -hmm. I did a great job with it. I felt great about it. Some episodes were tough, you know. We did it about six seasons of it. Um, the writing was good. It was on USA Network. <laughs> You know, when you first started, you would you were kind of niching yourself into the comedic, uh, you know, yeah. funny, geeky stuff. Yeah, yeah. actor, and then I, you came out on Out of Bounds. Daryl Cage left Iowa for a summer in L.A., but the locals aren't too friendly. That was a more of a serious thriller, wasn't sure. it? So Action you thriller. were trying to explore new yeah, characters, to try age. to get out of that. Yeah, and I felt that I always felt that as an actor. Yeah, I wanted to. Even as a kid, I said, you know, if I'm going to do this for the rest of my life, I want to mix it up, do different things. Those are also the actors that I love the most, too. You know, mm -hmm. go light to dark, because I was never into the celebrity stuff. It was really more of just a job. You know? Yeah. Years ago, I worked with Danny Trejo. He just did a great thing, and he's a great guy. Trejo's tacos. Yeah, man. He's a great guy. <laughs> so we were doing a, butch, a picture in uh, Europe. It was a Western, me, him, and Mickey Rourke. And one day, we're sitting around, and we was talking about work. I said, what you thought about this? But uh, Danny goes, he goes, Mike, I'm like a mechanic. I go where the work is. Yeah, you know, he's got a great attitude, great spirit. Yeah, you follow your talent, and you that's follow it. your, and that's where your work takes you. Or your that's talent it. takes you to your work, yeah. and that's where you do it, and yeah. you give it a hundred percent. Right. Yeah, like Danny Trejo is another like story yeah. that wow, man. I mean, great story. The runaway train, and he was the boxer, and he was training at Julia Roberts. You know, her right. brother how to box for the yeah. John Voight did amazing in that movie. Great that was too, great, right? yeah, dude. Great God, man, I, one yeah. of my favorite movies, Runaway Train, yeah. stuck in a awesome prison movie. in Alaska, and yeah, it was just awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah. He's a great guy. You're not gonna do nothing like that. I'll tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna get a job. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get a little job, some job a convict can get, like scraping off trays in the cafeteria or cleaning out toilets. And you're gonna hold on to that job like gold because it is gold. Let me tell you, Jack, that is gold. You listen to me. Guy, but that's yeah. the thing. You know, you learn. The craft, you learn your work, and you respect the work. you got to just keep chipping away at it. You know, mm -hmm. That's what my father used to tell me. So. Wow. And so what's going on with you now, man? What are you Good doing? stuff, man. I'm working on the Goldbergs on ABC. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. yeah it's like you nice came song. out as a former geek yeah, yeah. turned into a counselor or something yeah, like, like that. Yeah, a guidance counselor. Yeah. <laughs> you probably can't tell, but I'm a... Hardcore nerd? Whoa! You can't call me that. I can. Because I was one, too. 
That's you? You're so... Scrawny, zitty, pasty? Exactly! The first episode we did a couple months back, they were joking. It was kind of like the Griswolds go to... Uh, to Disneyland, it was uh-huh. kind of like a vacation spoof. And then they brought me back to play this T-shirt, so it's yeah. fun. Do you like doing movies or TV better, man? No, it's the same kind of work, bro. It's like 12 hours a day. Mm-hmm. So I kind of look at it the same way. Mm-hmm. I just like when I have, can do some comedy. It's fun. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And there's a whole lot of other opportunities now because you've got mm-hmm. uh, you know all these companies that are creating production companies sure. like uh, Apple, yeah. uh, Amazon. So that's really opening it up a lot for a lot of actors to get work, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Then I had a good movie, too, last year. I did uh, Halloween Kills. It's going to be coming out in the fall, which is awesome, with Jamie Lee Curtis. So that was a real nice blessing, too. So Is that part of the, the of course, uh, the Michael Myers? That's right. It's the next installment. On October 16th, 2020, Halloween Kills. Get out of here! And on October 15th, 2021. Happy Halloween, Michael. Halloween ends. Yeah, so it was really cool. I got to work. What kind of character are you playing well, on there? The character is Tommy Doyle. I think it goes back to the 1978 version with the okay. two kids that Jamie Lee babysat. So yeah. now he's, you know. And you're one of those kids yeah, growing up? Yeah, so now he kind of like, uh, you know, kind of rallies the town against Meyer. It's going to be great, man. The project yeah. was cool. Danny McBride produced it. David Gordon Green directed it. And uh, so that's coming up in the fall, too. So good things ahead, man. What do you think of the Academy Awards, man? They're coming up. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I like watching those things. I only went once when they when they paid tribute to John Hughes. It was mm-hmm. nice, about 10 years ago. Yeah. But I like watching that stuff. I, I was thinking, you know, because, you know, a lot of those shows, like the Grammys was one of yeah. the lowest rated in their demo. Yeah. Uh, and I was talking to one of my friends on radio that, you know, back in the day when we only knew the artists at the radio fetish, sure. uh, you know, that would be the show to watch to see them all. Right. And now with internet and all kinds of music streaming, you know, capabilities, there's so many other artists that uh, that don't make it on there. Right. That a lot. That right. so it kind of like spreads the fan bases. Uh, all over the place instead of just you know particularly looking at certain um, you right. know certain uh, what do you call it a certain demographic sure. or certain, certain type of music sure. same with movies I mean now you have these movies that I mean that don't aren't in theaters that are freaking awesome as yeah. well yeah. and so there's so many to choose from for these Oscars and it's stuff true. like that no it's really true and the music business changed as you know I mean digital right changed everything back in the day right the, al- the artists would get signed by the label They'd get a video, and then they go on tour to pay back the label. These mm-hmm. days, the artists have to hustle, and, yeah. but, they're, but they're producing and manufacturing their own stuff. Well, I was great, telling you know? a, some friends that have a band, cool. getting signed by a label is like going to the bank and asking for a $10,000 loan, recording your album, and right. spending a few bucks to promote it and market it, right. and then you go out and you play and support it, right. and you book right. your own gigs. So back in the day, you were at the mercy of the label. Right. The label would give you all this money, and if right. they didn't push you, you ended up owing them, because I have a lot of friends that exactly. are in debt to record your labels right, because right. the labels picked them up signed them threw this money at and them just, and then yeah. just put them aside because something came up all of a sudden right and yeah. they ended up just in debt and right. so right. now i guess it's like you can like you can create your own movie with right. your own phone you could right. be fo- you know right. have somebody follow you around you have sure. made it and you're done sure. you create your own production Absolutely. company man it's cool and that's what i think digital's done a lot a lot of good for that for those reasons it's made people hustle with their stuff more and, yeah and that's cool too yeah, yeah. and uh, i was thinking about the academy awards because a lot of those things get political you know yeah and i was thinking <laughs> something that would really turn it upside down would be for a an, an <laughs> artist or actor that receives an award to get up there and just shoot out a pro-trump <laughs> you know a pro-trump yeah. speech yeah. endorsement yeah, yeah yeah i mean can yeah. you imagine how much yeah. Uh, well, you mentioned John Voight. He's the one. He's been vocal about supporting yeah. Trump. But yeah. they don't. They don't invite yeah. him to the Academy Awards, yeah. man. No, I mean, no. that sucks, dude. You know. Yeah. It's not about you know your talent and what you've done. It's more about if you're towing the same ideological line. And I, you know, I'm not into that. I'm into free thinking. I agree. I'm into Me hey, too. you want to support who you want to support? Support yeah. them. I don't care if I don't support who you support. That's fine. I won't support them. Yeah. But I ain't gonna. Yeah scratch your car you right. know i ain't gonna Very hurt well you no you said it you i know? agree i'm of that same mindset too man absolutely you know people follow an ide- ideological line of thinking you're right you know and i think a lot of people are afraid to digress from that but i'm with you it's about free thinking that's what our country's built on man you know as long as you make a contr- you know contribution and you work for what you want you can create success so with that those freedoms otherwise yeah. are also important man. yeah and there's that uh, uh i guess that 
I don't know if it's a myth or a mantra or whatever, but Tim Allen, for example, who's He's an great. open, yeah. you know, conservative, sure. right uh, Trump yeah. supporter, uh, got his show axed, and mm. then he ended up coming back up on Fox. That's right, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, and so there's this uh, this idea that if you openly support like Donald Trump or President Trump, right, mm -hmm. that you'll be you'll you'll lose work in Hollywood. Is that is that yeah. true, man?